Good morning, Redline Wildcats. I am Karina. And I am Juliet. This is the news for the weeks of November 4th and November 11th. Hey, Juliet, let's start off with a joke. What is a tree's favorite drink? I don't know. What is a tree's favorite drink? Root beer. Ha ha ha. That was a good one. Let's take a look at this week's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Every year on November 11, people in the United States celebrate Veterans Day. The holiday honors veterans or people who serve and served in the U.S. military. The day honors those veterans who died while fighting in a war. To celebrate Veterans Day, some cities and towns have parades. Veterans from the area may march in, parade, in the parade. Some people visit cemeteries on Veterans Day. Veterans Day used to be called Armistice Day, and Armistice is an agreement to stop fighting. Armistice Day was created to remember the end of World War I on November 11, 1918. The first Armistice Day was the in the United States was in 1919. In 1954, Armistice Day was renamed Veterans Day to remember soldiers from all wars, not just World War One. People in Australia, Canada, France, and the United Kingdom also honor Veterans Day on in November. Uh, on Friday, November 8th, Woodlawn will host a Veterans Day celebration, which includes a parade of veterans. November 11th is Veterans Day today. We have the pleasure of interviewing an active member of the military. Hi, I'm Haha. Thank you for taking the Hi, I'm Vanessa. Can you Where is he? Where did you go to college? Uh, hi, uh, my name is uh, Chris Coleman. I'm a lieutenant colonel. I'm on uh, active duty in the Army. <clears throat> I'm a judge advocate, so I'm an attorney uh, in the Army. And uh, I heard your first question was, where did I go to college? Is that right? So I went to West Virginia University uh, in Morgantown, West Virginia. And I, I studied journalism in college. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When did you know you went into the service in the military? Um, well, I always liked. Um, there used to be a cartoon called GI Joe when I was a little kid, and it was uh, guys in the army, and they they fought the bad guys who were uh, in Cobra was the bad guys, and they um, yeah they had like tanks and helicopters and stuff like that, and they had action figures that you would buy, and it was like guys in the army. Um, so I always liked that when I was a little kid. And then when I was in high school, um, I wanted to join the army because my family had a history of military service. Uh, my grandfather was, uh, an active duty soldier. And then, um, my godfather was also, uh, in the uh, army as well. And so I wanted to join, uh, my parents wanted me to go to college right away. So what I did is I joined the army reserve first where I could go to go to college and be in the army at the same time. And, and after after law school, I joined uh, the army full time. Okay. What has been your proudest moment serving them in the military? Uh, so um, people might not expect it, for, but for me, it was when I graduated uh, basic training. So I was only 18 years old and I had just finished high school and I went to a place in Missouri called Fort Leonard Wood. And um, that's where the drill instructors were and we learned how to march um, and we learned how to uh, shoot army weapons and to do mm. medical care. Um, and so we learned all of the different ranks and all of the different things you needed to know to be kind of a soldier in the army. And so when uh, you graduate, you you, you get into a big 
um, formation and you march across the parade field and your parents are there, um, you know, like cheering you on and they're very proud of you. So that was probably my proudest moment when I was uh, 18 years old. Okay. Okay. Can you describe your in the military? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that last one. Okay. Can you describe your in the military? I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time with the microphone. What was it? Can you describe your job in the military now? Oh yeah, so I'm a I'm an attorney, uh, so I'm a lawyer in the army, um, and right now I'm a national security law attorney. So we deal with kind of um, the legal issues that the army uh, deals with when it it is uh, working as a an army unit. So that can be anything from disciplinary issues or investigations or um, things like contracts. Also, we want to make sure that when we fight a war, we do it the right way and we do it in a way that protects civilians and make sure that, you know, people are safe and that they're they're taken care of. And the only people that um, are targeted in the conflict are the bad guys. So, so we do all of those things. Okay. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, what advice do you have for students who would like to serve in the military? Sure. So, I mean, I think um, just for for students who want to serve in the military, there's, a, there's some important things. One is um, being a, a good student is important and learning how to be a leader. And uh, leadership is not just getting people to do what you do what you want, but it's about getting people to do the right things. And so, um, you know, for instance, some, like maybe your, maybe your teacher is saying, hey, you guys need to quiet down and, and everyone's all excited. They don't want to quiet down. A leader would, would help the teacher get everyone to quiet down because that means you're all going to learn and school's going to be more efficient, more fun because you guys are all on the same page. So learning how to be a good leader is one. Um, learning how to be a good teammate. You know, sports is kind of a good way to learn how to be a good teammate. You know, like everyone... Um, is part of the team and you always treat everyone with respect and, and dignity and fairness. And, and you, you kind of show that you're a good teammate by working hard every day on the team. So like, it's like if you're on a basketball team and you pass the ball to somebody, and he misses a shot. You don't, you don't yell at him and make him feel bad for missing the shot. You just like encourage him like, you know, Hey man, you're going to get it the next time. So you're a good teammate. Uh, that's a, That's another thing that's uh, that's important uh, for people who want to join the military to learn. Um, and then also just um, like respect for the Constitution in, in America um, is important too, right? So one of the things that's special about uh, America's system is unlike some some systems where they have like a king or they have a, a dictator where um, it's a singular person that everyone has to to adhere to. Our, we have a Constitution and, and that, that system, you know, we don't have a king and and our military is loyal to that system, to the Constitution. And, you know, it, it protects every single American cis citizen um, fairly and equally. And, and so having respect for that and, and, and learning how America is different in our system is important, too. So those were the things I would say. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking the time to be with you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Rest of your day. You too. All right. Thanks. Thanks for honoring Veterans Day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We have a few important announcements before we head out. Veterans Day is on November 11th. Woodlawn will host a Veterans Day celebration on Friday, November 8th. If you have a family member that serves or served in the military, invite them to join us for the pledge in a Veterans Day Hall Parade. The PTA is holding Turkey Bingo on Saturday, November 16th. Come and join on the family fun. Go Wildcats! Wildcats. 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 W